hello everyone and thank you all so much for stopping by in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this delicious banana chin chin so without any further ado let's begin these are the list of ingredients you need to make this banana chin chin recipe and i'll drop the list and measurement in the description box so please do well to check it out to get started, I'll begin by sifting 6 cups of all-purpose flour into a big bowl. Once the sifting process is done, I'll go ahead to add 1 cup of light brown sugar, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Next, I'll go ahead and mix everything until it is well combined. So moving over to the next step, at this stage I'll go ahead to peel and match two overripe bananas and it is very important to use bananas that are very ripe, that's where you get the most flavor out of them. So once you're done matching the bananas, go ahead and add two tablespoons of melted unsalted margarine. You can also use butter if that's what you have. And you're also going to add in two teaspoons of banana flavor or one tablespoon of banana flavor. Next, crack in one medium egg and then go ahead and give it a good, good mix to combine. Once everything is nicely combined just like this, go ahead and grab the wet mix and pour into the dry ingredients, making sure to scrape out every goodness from that bowl, okay? Because nothing goes to waste. And here I've got one cup of whole milk, which we're going to be adding bit by bit in order to end up with the perfect um chin chin dough okay so we are looking for a hard dough for chin chin dough you need the dough to be hard and not soft okay you can also use powdered milk for this recipe all you need to do is to grab half cup of powdered milk and just mix that with the dry ingredients and then you can use water for the mixing process when mixing a chin chin dough what you should be aiming to achieve is a hard dough and not a soft or a sticky um dough consistency okay so that is why it is important to add in the liquid bit by bit that way you end up with a perfect chin chin dough consistency if you add in all the liquid all at once you will end up with a very sticky dough which will cause you to add a um, lot of flour okay and adding a lot of flour will cause you to go out from the original measurement okay so at this stage i'm just going to um bring the dough together with my hands and then transfer to my work surface and knead for about three or five minutes so now that the dough have come together i'm going to go ahead and transfer this now to my work surface and knead and for the milk you can see what we have left so i didn't use the whole of the milk i'm going to go ahead now and lightly flour my work surface and then knead the dough After kneading the chin chin dough for about three minutes, next I'll go ahead and divide them into two equal parts, then wrap them up with a clean film and allow to chill in the fridge for about 20 or 30 minutes thereabouts so that they will just um, chill a bit before the rolling and cutting process. So just in case you're wondering, the chilling process will help firm up the dough. That way, when you roll and cut the chin chin, after frying, they will retain their beautiful shapes, okay? And you can also do it the other way around. Just roll out the chin chin, 
cut them to your desired shapes and then allow the chinchin dough which you have cut to sit in the fridge for a while before frying okay so here i'm just going to be preheating some oil because my dough have been resting now for a while in the fridge and while the oil is heating up i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a bit of flour on my wok surface and then take out one of the dough to roll out So now go ahead and take off the wrap from the dough and then roll out to your desired thickness. I'm going to be rolling this out to about half an inch thickness because I don't want the dough to be too thick or too thin. And if the dough is sticking to your rolling pin, you can um, rub some flour on the rolling pin to prevent the dough from sticking further, okay? So once the chin chin dough is nicely rolled out just like this, next I'll go ahead to trim off the rough edges using a pizza cutter. You can also use a knife and then I'll go ahead to cut the chin chin dough into square shapes. Once I'm done cutting the first batch, I'll go ahead to leave the chin chin dough just like this. Next, transfer them into a bowl, set aside and then repeat the process with the remaining. Once you're done cutting the whole of the chin chin dough, go ahead and test with one just to make sure the oil is hot enough before you begin with the frying process. If it sizzles and pop up almost immediately just like this, then you know the oil is hot enough, okay? So you're going to go ahead and add some of the chin chin dough into the hot oil, making sure you don't overcrowd your pot or pan, okay? And you're going to fry this on a medium heat till they are nice and golden brown. Or till you reach your desired brownness okay because i know that some people like it um light gold and some like it a bit dark please do not leave the chin chin dough unattended for a long time otherwise they might get burnt and also it is very important you stir them every now and then for evenly brownness okay so at this stage they are nice and ready like i am satisfied with the color i'm seeing right here okay so i'll go ahead now and take them out from the oil and just let them drain on a kitchen paper towel and then i will repeat the process with the remaining chin chin dough So you want to make sure you are frying with the right temperature which is medium high heat because you don't want your chin chin dough to soak up oil okay and also remember not to overcrowd your pot or pan So here we have all our banana chin chin nicely fried. I'm going to allow them to cool down completely and then transfer to an airtight container and enjoy. You can have this banana chin chin with a glass of warm milk, with some hot chocolate or with any drink of your choice. They tasted so delicious and I hope you give them a try. And if you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe if you are not yet already. Until I see you next time with something delicious, stay safe and bye for now.